everyone, this is Caleb from Caleb Video Maker 2, and we are going to continue our discussion on relationships. We are going to be discussing one to many relationships. <coughs> we briefly discussed one to many relationships in your last MySQL video, and really the concept is not that hard. All it is is when there is a foreign key that references another column. To learn about one-to-many relationships, let's go through a simple example. Let's say we have a bidding website like eBay, I didn't say it, where you can post stuff on there and people can bid on it to buy it. Now the business rules of this application are that a user can create an account and they can create as many listings as they want, but one listing is owned by only one user. So you get this kind of setup. This is how you would draw a one-to-many relationship if you had to draw how everything was connected. That's because one user can have multiple listings, but a specific listing is not allowed to be owned by multiple users. So this situation is okay, but this is not okay because now this listing is owned by this user and this user. That's not okay. So we're just going to erase that. When you have this kind of setup, the thing that is being referenced multiple times is going to be put in its own table. So you would literally just create a listings table. It's pretty simple. This listings table is going to have a foreign key column that references the user. So let's draw this out with some actual data. That way it's a little bit more concrete. Here we have the users table. We'll keep it simple. We'll just have ID, first name, and last name. Here we have a users table and I've conveniently pre-inserted some data for us to use. So we have three people, Caleb, Amy, and George, and these are the users that are going to create listings on our bidding website. So this will become our listings table, and the columns will be the ID, and then a reference to the user ID, and then we can just say title, for example. If we wanted to get really in depth with our bidding website, we could have a description and quality and all of that good stuff, but this is plenty for now. So let's put some data in here. We'll give the first one an ID of one, and then we'll give it a title of pizza rolls. And now we just need to give it a user ID. Now the thing with database design is that we try to keep everything atomic. If you haven't heard of that word, it essentially means the smallest indivisible piece that still makes sense. So a user ID, we only want one. We don't want to have two user IDs, and we don't want to have a half a user ID. <laughs> and we only want to store user IDs in this column. We don't want to store user IDs and the user's name or anything like that. Everything has to be atomic, the smallest piece that makes sense. So in this situation, the column is atomic. That's because we're only storing one thing in this column, the user ID. But now the rows have to be atomic too. They only store one value for each column. So we already have one value for the ID, we have one value for the title, and we have one value for the user ID, and we'll make that nine. Oh, that was a hard choice. <laughs> now if we wanted to have a one-to-one -one relationship, all we would do is make this user ID column unique. That would force every single row to be unique. So a user could only have one listing. But we don't want to do that. We want it so that a user can have multiple listings. So we don't make this unique. Now we can have another item by the same person and we can say this is, give me a weird item, hurry. Slinkies. I don't know how to spell slinkies. <laughs> now you can see we have two rows that point to one user, but we don't have any rows that point to two users. In fact, it's not even possible with this setup if we're following our atomic rules. Only one user ID can be given for a single item. So this is how you properly design a one-to-many relationship. It's very similar to storing a one-to-one -one relationship across multiple tables. The only difference is you do not use the unique keyword. We can also have other data in here. For example, we could have another item by the ID of eight, and it could be, give me an item, hurry, dog treats. Yum. <laughs> and that would reference one individual user. So yeah guys, that's how you design one too many relationships. Hopefully that was nice, crispy, and clear. Crispy? No, not crispy. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. Probably like crystal clear maybe. <laughs>
Yeah, well, hopefully that was nice and crispy for you guys. I will see you in the next video. And as always, if you've enjoyed this, please click subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.